Greetings, Internet, and welcome back for another presentation from yours truly. Today, I got a couple more packages in the mail, so you can guess what that means. It's check out my junk mail time. Gonna have to work on that. But anyway, I got a couple of things this week, uh, between this week and last week. The first one we're going to open up is this nice little kind of squishy bubble mailer envelope thingamabob. The second one we're going to open up, it's, uh, it's a big one. It's a big boy. So, without further delay, let's not tarry, unless I'm referring to tearing into the package. That was a terrible joke, and I am sorry y'all had to hear that, but here we go. Is everything that was in there? So we throw it away, and this neat little Walmart bag contains what I purchased from this person. There we are, this weirdo from Dragonheart. That is exactly what I bought. The reason why I bought that was so that I could get this guy. So I can add one of the next mutation rank. Uh, I, I think that's what these guys are called. To add a rank to the, well, the ranks of my Ninja Turtle collection. You know, in person, these things are a lot cooler than they look online. The articulation's kind of garbo, though, but what do you expect? It was from the next mutation. Most stuff revolving around that series was apparently considered to be garbage. But anyway, now I've got this little fella that I can add to the collection, and I am that much closer to finishing off Wave 1 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation action figures. So that is awesome. I'm glad to add that to the collection. And I've got to say, as far as the articulation being kind of eh, being kind of on the downside, the sculpting on this thing is actually really good. It does a lot better of a job portraying the character than like the costuming and the makeup and stuff did in the series. You're gonna look real good mixed in with the rest of my Next Mutation figures which are currently on the other side of the room. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, give me just a moment, and if I take too long editing me, feel free to chop this down. Not that you people at home will know this, but I'll be right back. Okay. So now then, we take the lid off of the storage tub and accidentally smack the microphone. As a recap, I now have two Next Mutation Master Splinters. I now have Dragon Lord, to whom this guy is one of the henchmen, and there were like a bunch of these guys, like the Foot Ninja to the Shredder. But I've got him and him now. Speak of the Devil, and then we've also got the Shredder with a couple of his weapons. We've got Wave 1 Michelangelo. Wave 1 Donatello, Wave 1 Raphael, Wave 1 Leonardo, Thunder Thrasher's Leonardo, Thunder Thrasher's Michelangelo, Thunder Thrasher's Donatello, and Thunder Thrasher's Venus de Milo. Then we have Raphael and his motorcycle. There's the motorcycle, don't know how well y'all can see that with the glare. And then finally, as of right now, the last one that I have is Vami from the Turtleflage wave. And so that y'all know, I'm still just missing Venus de Milo and the Elite Guard. Otherwise, I've got the full of wave one. But anyway, that's not why y'all came here today. Y'all came here to watch me open packages. And so once I get all these guys put back in the tub, then I will move straight on to opening the big one. And 
this guy, uh, I will figure out what to do with you later. Nice shield, though. Okay, so now we're on to the big one. Whew, that's actually a surprisingly hefty box. Now, the seller who sold me what I believe to be the contents of this box said that they threw in a special surprise. So, I guess we'll discover together here on camera what exactly it is this surprise is. They did a pretty bang up job taping this box closed. The box has been pierced, so I can put away the letter opener. Now, as with the last couple of packages and the last couple of videos, this one is quite large, so I'm just going to set it on the... I'm going to set it over here this time. I'm going to set it down here on top of that tub of Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation figures. And we're going to just gently open the box. Yep, this is exactly what I thought it was. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, bubble wrap! Lots and lots of bubble wrap. This person packaged this thing quite well. But, like I was saying, for your viewing pleasure, I present to you an original 1990 Playmates Toys Dick Tracy police car that someone bought from Toy Liquidators for $12.99 back when this was new. And I'll be quite honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't pay much more than the original retail. But anyway, I got that. The box has been opened, according to what the seller said. But I don't care about that. I just care that it's complete. I, I wasn't even worried about getting one in the box. I just wanted one of these for, you know, a certain video project I have in the works. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But anyway, there's Dick Tracy's squad car. Oh, it's got a nice little uh, comic on the back. Precinct Motor Cool. Dick Tracy's police squad car. Take a good look at her, Sam. Wow. The newest weapon in our war on crime. She's a beauty, Dick. Calling Dick Tracy. Gunfire reported at city shipyards. Let's go, Sam. Time for a test drive. This is Tracy calling. We're on our way! <laughs> that was so bad. I am so sorry, but that is what the comic down there says. Hopefully that's all in frame. And on the front of it says, Calling Dick Tracy. Calling Dick Tracy. Grab the boys and get the car. We're taking that gangster down. Catch him to Tracy. Meet you at the stakeout. Ooh, that's something that's kind of racy for a, a 90s toy. They have one of the main characters smoking while driving the automobile. Sam Catchem, what are you doing? Don't you know that smoking is wrong, Sam? But anyway, um, yeah, there's that. Just gonna gently put that down on the floor because that box is actually in really good shape. I was expecting it to be more beat up and battered and tatty. So well, that's not the only thing in this big box. Oh, no, 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 no. There's even more bubble wrap. Yay! But no, there is also... the villain's vehicle. Behold, big boy's getaway car. Calling Dick Tracy. Calling Dick Tracy. Big boy's car just blew by doing 100 miles per hour. Eat lead, flat foot. And this was also bought from Toy Liquidators. Holy cheese. The original price, if I'm reading this correctly, was $29.99. What was the price on Dick Tracy's car? Much of the same. These things were $30 new. What the shell? See, Ooh, there's another little comic on the back. I'll try and get as clear of an image as I can. Just kind of do a scroll by. I'm sorry that this is such, such poor quality. 
my channel has suffered so much. But anyway, um, and yes, I know that was very poor acting on my part. Vehicle impound, big boy's getaway car. A mighty steel juggernaut, big boy's sedan carries his messengers of death to the city shipyards. He arrives with great impact, crash. Then the messenger of death barks, and as swift as his arrival, just a little reminder. Even swifter is the great sedan's departure. This is going to be my town. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's what it says in the comic. Uh, I already read the part on the front. Car makes Tommy gun firing sound. Fast opening doors for quick getaways. Tommy gun included. I wonder if that's still in here. Because like I said before, the, uh, the vehicle has been opened. I wonder what the other car does. I saw a little blurb like that. Uh, uh, there was a little blurb like this on the other one. But I didn't actually pay it any mind. So I'm just going to put that down here for a second. And we're going to see what Dick Tracy's vehicle does. Loud wailing police siren. Working doors for easy copper access and gunfight shielding. Well, okay. Alright, now, um, now I'm not seeing the, the big surprise that this person said that they were going to include. Just, unless the surprise was more bubble wrap. Although, I noticed someone, I don't know if it was the seller, but the ends have been retaped, or the end has been retaped on this one, but the end flap on Big Boy's box is still popped, so I'm guessing the surprise is in here. So let's take a look. I'm gonna set it on the table this way, that way we can discover what this surprise is together. I have a feeling the surprise... well, no, I'm, I'm not gonna say what my feeling is. I was not expecting that. Uh, Big Boy's getaway car. From Playmates Toys. Not sponsored. Okay, there's nothing in the side there, and... Let's see if we can't get the car out, because they did a nice job and actually wrapped up the car inside with bubble wrap. Hopefully I don't break anything while I'm pushing this out. Okay, so the carton it came from is empty. There's no... not a nothing in there. I'm guessing the surprise is inside the vehicle. So, gently now. Gently, we perform the autopsy to remove the tape, the surgery, as it were. Okay, the second layer of bubble wrap is coming off right now, and this tape is being removed. Up. That looks really nice. Look at that beautiful black sedan. I'm not going to show this off too much because obviously it's going to be video in the works and this is going to be part of it. I'll be dipped if this isn't a beautiful automobile. Now I wonder where the supposed included Tommy gun is. Like where, where did they hide it in the packaging? I'm going to guess it's in here. Oh, this comes off. Maybe the Tommy gun is in here? I, I wouldn't think so, because it's such a thin... How do I get inside this thing? Or am I supposed to get inside of this thing? Oh, okay, it opens a lot easier than I was expecting. Let me just put big boy's getaway car out of the way for a moment. So just gently, hopefully I don't break off these pegs while I'm doing this. Oh, 
don't open up. You know you want to. Got it. And there's the Tommy gun. Okay. It's a very small, flat plastic one. Usually the ones that come with the figures are more like three-dimensional than this. But that is quite all right. Ooh, hello. Check out the sticker detailing inside there. Nice, nice. And thank God I didn't actually break any of the little pegs because I just realized those held together with little pegs. There you go. You can right there. You can kind of see them, like on the sides here. I thought this thing was held together like, uh, you know, those Easter eggs, those silly little plastic ones. I thought this was like one of those. But anyway, so that I can prevent myself from ever having to do that again and risk damaging this thing just to get out the little Tommy gun. Come on. There we go. Got it all snapped back together. Let me put this back on the back, if we can. There we are. Back in place where it goes, and I'm going to just stick the Tommy gun in here on the floorboard. So now then, since the special surprise that they said they were going to put in the box wasn't with Big Boy's car, and because Dick Tracy's car has actually been taped shut on the one open end, I'm going to carefully peel off that new tape, and I'm going to investigate. So let's see. Which side? This side. You can tell because they used more modern tape. Got to be ever so careful because I don't want to damage this box. Thankfully they put this new tape over the original existing tape, which makes it that much easier to peel it back off. Easy as you please. There's one more strip on the other side. Okay, here it comes. Here it is. There we go. Alright, all the tape is off the box. So now comes the moment of truth. Let's see what special, spectacular surprise awaits us. And this time, I'm going to do it like I did with the other car, but this time, I'm going to have it facing the right way so the car is actually on its wheels as I'm fiddling around with the box. So I'm going to open this towards the camera, and y'all will get the first look. Let me know if it's anything good. I see, just a bunch of bubble wrap. Okay. Uh-huh. Now they said that these were partially put together. And as you saw, the big boy's car was completely put together. Dick Tracy's car appears to actually only be partially assembled. Because if you... Oh, that's the surprise that she put in here. That is actually really cool. Okay, I'll show y'all what the surprise is in a minute. First, oh, you're kidding me. Folks, you remember how with the other box I had it upside down just to make sure that the car was actually going to be on its wheels? Well, this car, she put it in upside down. I don't know how well you can see it, but right up there is the bumper. Okay, so now we flip the box again, gently, and we retrieve the automobile. Y'all saw me take the tape off of the last one, so to prevent y'all the eye strain and the potential annoyance, I'm going to have my editing self chop this right here, and soon, in just a moment, you'll see me holding this thing without the bubble wrap. And... Ha! Isn't that a thing of beauty right there? Someone already attached all the stickers. That is beautiful. That is wonderful. The glass has gotten a little bit cloudy over the years, but that's bound to happen with clear plastics like this. Especially clear plastic that's, at this point, over 30 years old. And it's supposed to have a sound when you push it all along the ground. I 
it's, it's, it's like Dick Tracy's having a little bit of engine trouble. Anyway, I'm not going to do that much more because I have a feeling that is doing some major damage to the mechanics inside this thing. So we're just going to move on from this, which just real quick, one more time, just look at the beauty of this thing. That is phenomenal for a Playmates Toys car. Let's get a look at that undercarriage. Mm, that is beautiful. All right, so next we put this down on the floor, and I'll show you all the extra that that person I bought from so nicely included. For the first time anywhere on this channel, I present to you, ladies, gentlemen, and all other configurations of being, and now I don't know what accent that was, the official Dick Tracy doll. By applause. I wonder if I can get him to stand. He's got a full cloth body with plastic head, hands, and feet. But if I could get that stubborn Freddy Krueger doll to stand, I can probably get old Dick here to stand up. Ah! Look at that! And there he goes. And just so y'all see, he is actually entirely fabric, aside from the head, the hands, and the feet. That was really cool of her. The scream of sirens, the rat-a-tat of tommy guns, there's murder and mystery in the air, calling Dick Tracy. You'll find action and adventure in the as the world's greatest crime stopper explodes off the tabloid pages and into your home. But beware. The most maniacal mob of murderers and mayhem makers anywhere is out to make trouble, as Big Boy conducts a plan that includes the fearsome presence of Flat Top, Itchy, and Prune Face. Will the sultry Chantus? That's a word I haven't heard before. C H A N T E U S E. Will the sultry Chantus, Breathless Mahoney, go along with Big Boy? Or join forces with Tracy. The bad boys may have the upper hand, but not for long. The authentic American hero, Dick Tracy, is back on the beat. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Got myself a new Ninja Turtles figure. Got myself a couple of accessories for the Dick Tracy toy line. And I got myself a Dick Tracy doll. As a surprise. That, in and of itself, ladies and gentlemen, I believe is enough where I can wrap this up. So, thank you all so very much for coming back and enjoying another one of my videos. At least I hope you've enjoyed it. It is just the fact that you guys are willing to watch a dork like me do my thing. That's fantastic. It's... And no, I'm not getting emotional. I've got something in my eye. For real. But anyway, just the fact that you people are willing to watch a goofus like me just sit here and ramble on about stuff. That is phenomenal. So truly, deeply, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Big hearts, big ups to all of you, my viewers. Okay, now I'm starting to get emotional. Not entirely sure why. <clears throat> But, um, thank you all so much for coming back and enjoying another one of my videos. I do truly and greatly appreciate it. If you like what you've seen here today, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to be notified of future uploads once you are subscribed. And, heck, why not share it with your friends? And with all of that, happy hullabaloo and horse hockey out of the way. I haven't said that one in a while. This is Oxlimation saying, Cowabunga. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.